Jalavet. Welcome to Medvedetaiga National Park, my friend. Not that we are friends, yet. I am Hada Alena Hasavovna, but you can call me Alena. I'm your primary contact, so you and I will be friends in no time. I, I put together this cross-disciplinary expedition to study the effects of climate change in this region. My team and I are scientists, not activists, so this isn't a political thing. We are only interested in data, verifiable facts. That said, the taiga is not the most hospitable place. Gathering data and assessing the animal population here is difficult enough in spring and summer, but in winter it becomes dangerous. Not just for us, but for the local wildlife. That's why we called you in. The professional. You have a reputation for being a humane but effective hunter. My kind of hunter, I hope. Before we get down to the nitty-gritty business, I can hear your stomach rumbling all the way here at base camp. Start by getting yourself some protein. I have hunted many deer, or at least I used to hunt them near your location. Look around for tracks. They should be plentiful. If you're going to rest tonight, you need to find an outpost, and that means knowing where one is. You can only see so much from the ground, so unless you brought your rocket boots, you have to climb the nearest lookout point. I've marked the location on your hunter mate. Happy hiking! This lookout offers quite the view. From up here you can see outposts, hunting grounds, and all the nature you can feast your eyes on. The nearest outpost location is marked on your hunter mate. Go there now to rest, resupply, and take shelter. You may want to fix up the place. It hasn't seen much use since winter came. You have arrived. Our out 
outposts are no five-star hotels, but they beat sleeping outside. Once you fix the place, you can rest and resupply here anytime. Now that you're comfortable, or as comfortable as anyone can be out here, I need you to help one of the other team members, Gunther Baden, at a campsite in Rybatsky Bay. You might have an easier time calling it Fisherman's Bay. We haven't heard from him since the blizzard last week. His last mobile communication said he was low on food. Gear up to hunt deer. Bring hungry Gunther some fresh meat. Gunther Baden is our photographer. I tell you, he comes as highly recommended as you, but the truth is he comes very, very cheap. Gunther arrived about a week ago to set up remote cameras all across this region, Ledinoi Bay. He loaded up an ATV with plenty of supplies, but like I said, we haven't heard from him since the storm. It's normal for people to disappear for a few days in the taiga, but Gunther, unlike you. His resume grossly exaggerated his wilderness survival skills. He is more of a passionate amateur than a consummate professional. Thanks for hunting on his behalf.
feed Gunther for a while. If he's not grateful, I will smack him. I will admit I'm worried about Gunther. Even with all the trouble he's making for you and me, nobody deserves to starve or... Well, anyway, you'll find him at a campsite in the area I've marked on your hunter mate. Stay safe out there. This is where Gunther was camping. Looks like he's all out of supplies. I told him, leave food uncovered in this wilderness. The bears will steal it. They're hungry this year. Take a look around for Gunther. People leave tracks like any other animals. Bingo, there's Gunther. He must be out hunting. Follow those tracks and be careful he doesn't shoot you by mistake. You're a dead shot. He's a dumb shot, okay? Well, there is Gunther's hunting blind. But where is Gunther? Okay, enough of this wild moose chase. There is another campsite to the west. Gunther may have abandoned the last camp when the storm hit. If he's not there, the only other possibility is that he is lost in the tiger. By the way, has Columbus Nadel reached out to you? He's my American archaeologist friend, a major geek studying the history of Tiger peoples. Nidal is not, shall we say, rugged like American archaeologists in the movies, but you are. So, lend my friend Nidal a hand when you can. Help him chronicle the rich history of this place before time erases it. Nidal is generous. He will reward your effort. Still no Gunther. Now I'm getting worried about that Durak. Is there anything there that might tell us where he is? Short. I immediately feel bad for calling Gunther a Durak, even though he made some terribly foolish mistakes. Now he's sick and he's out there all alone, and who knows what he's getting up to. We need to find him. That sounds like a reindeer, but it's... it's in pain. Oh no. Gunther was sick, starving, and a terrible shot. What if he wounded an animal without killing it? Or left a trap on the wrong trail? Please, find this reindeer and tell me I'm wrong. There it is. Reindeer are sacred to Nenets. Seeing them wounded like this breaks my heart.
that reindeer won't suffer anymore. Thank you. I've had to report the incident to the state veterinary and phytosanitary service. The local director, Dimi Pushkin, asked for your info, and being a state representative, I had to give it to him. Dimi may hit you up for jobs from time to time. I don't want you to get distracted, but keeping the state happy makes life easier for our expedition, so don't ignore him. The caliber of the bullet in that reindeer matches Gunther's rifle. That's not conclusive, but if Gunther is out there with a firearm, we have to find him before more animals get hurt, or before he hurts himself. Do you see anything around his campsite that would give us a lead? Those look like Gunther's boot prints. Let's find him. This must be the river where Gunther found that musk deer. Looks like his tracks follow the riverbank, probably to collect the musk deer meat. I hope this isn't a dead end. Sorry, poor choice of words. Gunther isn't the only one desperate for a meal out here. The rivers flooded during the warmest spring on record last year. Then out of nowhere, the temperature dropped, and in a flash, the rivers froze early. It's too bad bears can't ice fish. Very bad. There is no blood, no wounds, which means this musk deer probably died from disease or poison. If this is where Gunther was shopping for meat, he's in worse trouble than we thought. Careful. This happened in another province, exactly like this. Don't freak out, but that time, it was anthrax. You should be safe as long as the temperature stays below zero. You don't touch these dead animals, and you don't eat the snow. That Durak Gunther probably made all these mistakes. There are more footprints to follow. My stomach is sinking just thinking about what you'll encounter at the end of the trail. Be careful. That tent belonged to Gunther. Can you read the note he left? Well, this is a punch in the gut. Gunther ate contaminated musk deer and died with symptoms that are associated with anthrax. Rest in peace, Gunther. So, I promise the rest of this expedition will not be so... grotesque, is the word, da? I spoke with Pushkin over at the Federal Department. A hazmat team is en route to clean up that riverbank as soon as the weather permits. There are water monitoring sites scattered throughout this region. Our biologist, Anatoly Barnyashev, wants you to check on those to make sure this anthrax contamination didn't spread. The areas where you will find these sites are marked on your hunter mate. About that anthrax, it's a natural occurrence in Medvedet Taiga these days. 
The permafrost, the icy layer just below the ground you're standing on, melts more and more every summer. And when it thaws, it lets out all kind of things that have been frozen and dormant for years and years. Things like fossils. Things like anthrax. This area is anthrax free. Thank you. There are two more of these stations in the area. Another clean test. No anthrax. These are very good results. water monitoring station test clean for anthrax. Thank you for being so professional despite, well, you know, infectious diseases and all that grim stuff. Frankly, I'm surprised you're able to handle such nasty business and stay so calm. You may be a person of few words, but your actions speak to your good character. Anatoly is like my number two at base camp. He may pester you for help here and there, but I trust he won't take advantage of you. Here is a more conventional job. Nanets report a wild boar in the area marked on your hunter mate. They overgrazed the land to the west and now they're migrating here. Unfortunately, they'll disrupt the mast deer's grazing and attract hungry lynxes. Thin the boar pack down by a few heads. That should create enough pressure to push them back home. Here's one of those pesky boars. He'll make a nice roast. Nice shooting, but don't get cocky, Ditya. You'll need to harvest another ball before the pack runs off. If I could understand them, 
I'm sure the Mazdir would thank you for keeping the boar away from their food. The resources are extremely limited in the taiga. Not just for you and me, but especially for the animals. When the environment is stable, nature has a way of balancing these things. Unfortunately, the environment is now changing so rapidly that nature can't catch up. There is an outpost over to the west of Varot of Pazemnimir, aka the gateway to the underworld. <laughs> yes, that is the real name of a real place. I'm not kidding you. I've marked the area on your hunter mate. Go check in on the outpost. So you're probably wondering, what is this gateway to the underworld? Is Elena sending me to hunt demons and armies of darkness? No, I'm sending you to investigate permafrost. Remember that permafrost is a subterranean layer of ice. Rapidly thawing permafrost has seismic consequences, besides the odd anthrax outbreak. That's how we ended up with this supernatural rift in the earth. I could give you a dissertation on the gateway, but you'll know it when you see it. There are more details in your codex if you want extra credit. You've reached the outpost. Hurra! Resupply and prepare yourself before venturing back into the wild. You've earned a respite, but don't go turning lazy on me. We still have loads of work to do. Bad news. The gateway attracts many visitors, but not all of them are welcome. Some of the nanets traveling through your area have reported their food being stolen. Very unusual, especially in winter. Before I go jumping to conclusions about poachers and mammoth pirates, can you see if this is an animal problem? Like a wavered lynx, hungry brown bear? Check around you for tracks. you may call him Bigfoot? Figna, I say. This is a joke, right? You're playing a prank on me, like on TV. Where are the hidden cameras? We don't have time for this. <sighs> you didn't make the tracks, did you? Well, if you didn't make those tracks, I need you to find out who did. So... I guess you're tracking Chuchunya now. I've seen a lot of weird crap out here, but this is a first. Find more tracks so we can tip off the police. But remember, you're a hunter, not a commando. If you encounter poachers or pranksters, do not engage them. Seriously. And unless you're packing some high caliber firepower, don't engage the bears either. Trust me.
Bullfignia? There is no Chuchunia, no Bigfoot. Someone is pulling our leg and stealing people's food. I will file a report on this nuisance with the police. Keep one eye on your backpack until we catch the criminal. Enough, Chuchunia Fignia. I need you to track on another weather station inside the permafrost crater. Look in the place marked on your hunter mate. There's the weather station. Can you record the data from it? Wonderful. To be honest, I can't read any of this, but I'll pass it on to our meteorologist, Svetlana Isakova. Svetlana will reach out to you from time to time for help with her research. Next on our mystical fantasy tour, the gateway to the underworld. Go to the next outpost, if you dare. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. I get super bored sitting here while you do all the legwork. Welcome to the Gateway to the Underworld, a popular destination for climatologists and tourists alike, when it's not 45 below. If you want to know more, there is helpful information in your codex, lovingly prepared by yours truly. These tents were left behind by the previous expedition. We... We lost contact with the group a few weeks ago. We sent search parties after them, but then the storm hit. I can't imagine that helped their chances. You're the first person to make it here since the storm. Since you've proven your bloodhound skills. Could you take a look around? This was no Chuchunia. It was a bear. Probably a hungry one. I warned the team not to store their food carelessly. But did they listen to me? Of course not. Why listen to Elena? She's merely a highly educated, experienced native of the region. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. I'm venting when I should be thanking you for your help. This isn't your fault. All the last teams. It's... It's mine. Please, do not go looking for any bears just yet. I'll phone the police and reach out to you in a bit. Okay. So, the police have resumed searching for our missing party members, thanks to your scouting. I am praying for a miracle to find them. But I didn't bring you here to hunt for missing persons. Perhaps you desire a challenge more befitting your experience. Lynx migrated to this area many years ago, after some overzealous hunters killed off all the wolves. The wolves moved out, the lynx moved in. That's just how it goes out here. Everybody's hungry. It's hard to spot the lynx, 
but documenting their migration and survival is essential to our research. Nanets have already reported links in your area. Find the links and photograph it for us. They're extremely fast and highly sensitive. So, stealth is the word when tracking them. Very good. Your camera skills are serviceable. Now, see if we can harvest the lynx. Anatoly requires a specimen for this section. With anthrax in the area, we need to keep a close eye on the health of these animals. Links, keep your distance. Have your camera ready.
I am impressed. But don't let that go to your head. I'm easily impressed. Kidding! Your race is all the way. Anatoly thanks you for a perfect specimen. Rumor has it that boars are invading this region. Maybe the lynx pushed them here. Maybe the storm. Either way, this area can't sustain them. Create hunting pressure in the area marked on the hunter mate. Send them home. Speaking of sending things home, the police sent a drone up after I called and... My missing team has been found! The night before the storm, a pair of bears invaded the camp and ran them off without their gear. They're coming back frostbitten and several kilograms leaner, but they are alive. Truly miraculous! I hope you don't mind that I shared your role in their rescue. They called you a hero. If you're lucky, some of them will name their babies after you. What if these might be the same pack of boars you chased away earlier? You and these boars need to stop meeting like this. Boars confirmed. Harvest a few. That should push them north where they belong. See? Siberian boars have balls. Harvesting one will not push them out. Keep hunting. do not flee. These boars are as stubborn as my babushka. Almost. Harvest one more and I bet they'll turn tail.
you've pushed the pack north towards Zvirolova Hill, or Trafford's Hill. As it happens, our work is taking you in the same direction. Check your hunter mate. I've marked another outpost to visit. Stay alert for any sign of Chuchunya or Baba Yaga or some other supernatural figna. Or, more likely, poachers who want to rob you. I was the last person to check on this outpost, but somebody moved that ATV. Take a closer look. of gas. Chuchunya isn't real, but if he was, he wouldn't be siphoning gas tanks. This must be masked deer poachers or late-season mammoth pirates. I'll send word to the police. If you find any footprints, photograph them for me. I'll need that for the police. <laughs> At the rate we are filing these reports, we are lucky the cops don't charge by the hour. Again? Yet. I demand photographic proof. We can't conduct a scientific survey while some jokers are out here pretending to be Chuchunya or Bigfoot or whatever. Track these criminals down. Do not engage them. We just need to tip off the police. Follow the tracks. Remember, you're not a commander. You're just documenting evidence. here. Hmm. They were smart enough to cover their tracks. Whoever is doing this, we need to warn the locals. I can cover the nanets. The only other person near you is Georgi Grankin. He's an older man, excellent carpenter, totally harmless. I've marked his cabin on the hunter mate. Georgi used to be a doctor in Moscow, very prominent. He gave up the city life to move out here in 1978. He's alone and he prefers it that way, so don't be surprised if he and his dogs bark at you when you approach.
This is Georgi's cabin, but why aren't his dogs barking? Move in for a closer look. I don't like this gas canister. Georgi relies on dogs and a sled for transportation. He doesn't need gasoline. Please, check inside. Empty. Maybe Georgi took his dogs to the village for supplies. Anything unusual there? Signs of foul play? Trutrunia feet! And you say they smell like gasoline? Short. Here I am thinking Georgi is some prankster's victim, but Georgi is the prankster. What is the old man thinking? Please, take a photo to document this for the police. Thank you. So, perhaps old Georgi has lost his mind. I think it's best that you collect any firearms from the cabin before you leave. That shotgun is old, it's rusty, but if it still fires, it's good for protection against bears. Well, I need to call the police. Thank you for handling this with your usual discretion. Georgi is an old friend of the Nanets. Hopefully he meant no harm. I will be in touch shortly. The state surveyor's office called me today with reports of a trail of blood somewhere in the area I've noted on your hunter mate. Probably a large animal, like a moose or... or like a bear. See what you can find. Careful out there. That bear sounds weak. You are not far from him. This bear is hurt badly. Looks like it was probably caught in a faulty trap, left behind by an inexperienced trapper or careless hunters. Not everyone is an upstanding citizen like you. Please. Have mercy on the bear.
no animal should suffer like that. Some people have no respect. Those people rarely last long in the taiga. But you, with every task, you prove that you deserve to be here. Before I send you into Nanet's territory, I need you to pack away some substantial meat for the incoming expedition party. I've marked the location on the hunter mate. That's a good spot to hunt for bigger game. Reindeer or moose will do. That is a beautiful reindeer. Aim for the heart, lungs. Try not to cause unnecessary damage. Looks like your ninja reflexes really got the drop on that reindeer. harvesting reindeer. You and I will make the most of every bit of this. See, we provide you with the logs and everything. Easy task for a survivor like you to fix them. We are all stocked up here, so I've marked the area of a broken bridge on the hunter mate. The nanets use this to cross reindeer over the frozen river safely when there is a thaw. Do not worry about falling through the ice yourself. At this point in the season, you're standing on solid ice. So, the police picked up Georgi and he... He confessed to the hoax, but he didn't mean to hurt anyone. He had good intentions. He was trying to scare our expedition away, actually, to make sure nobody else got hurt. Ah, <sighs> this is all my fault. Sorry, you're busy working. I should let you get to it.
You're a better hunter than a carpenter, I think. But you get high marks for spirit. How is that? People like meaningless rewards. <laughs> that is why I'm always playing mobile games. Before you leave the dicky coast for the lake, do me a favor and harvest some meat for the nanets. Any animal, your choice. Except for reindeer. The reindeer herders have enough reindeer. animal will do. Good eye, Cyclops. You like mythological beasts too? Seriously, take a DNA test. You must have Nanet's blood. How else could you get along so well out here? 
This will make a fine meal for the gracious reindeer herders. They won't mind you hunting around their herds now. If you were next to me, I would toast to your hunting. Time for you to move south along the Dickey Coast towards Bolshoi Lake Taiga, closer to the Nenets migration route. There is a campsite in the area that is well established. Check your hunter mate for more info. When in Nenets country, you must spot a reindeer before shooting it. Otherwise you won't know if it's wild or Nenets. Shooting the Nenets reindeer is a good way to get yourself sacked, as in get fired. By now I trust you are smarter than that though. The Broba Jalovat. Not a bad hike. You have the legs of an Olympic marathon runner. Maybe not a gold medalist, maybe not silver, but bronze at least. And that is still something. usually won't appeal to you directly for help, but I've given your mobile number to my sister, Katerina. Yes, Nenets use mobile phones. If she asks for anything, please help her. We need the Nenets support to continue this expedition. In that spirit, here is your next epic quest. Like I said, this area is along a popular route for the Reindeer Herders Festival. But last year, for the first time, the Nenets had major problems with lynxes and brown bears here. The warmer springs led to a surge of vegetation, which led to a surge in small game, and that led to a big increase in large game. All sounds beneficial, right? Except the region can't sustain that growth. The land is overgrazed. The rivers don't have enough fish anymore. That means more hungry lynxes and bears wandering off to places where they don't belong. And that means more attacks on reindeer. You are going to look into this problem. It's a reindeer, so you don't accidentally harvest one. You'll need to track a reindeer and spot it with your binoculars. Go ahead, start scouting for tracks.
That's not a Nanet's reindeer. It's a free one. Hunt at your own discretion. But you must still find a Nanet's reindeer for me. That is a reindeer from a nanet's herd. Do not shoot. Unless you're shooting a photo, of course. Yet, yet, yet! We need a better framing and composition. This is one seriously classy reindeer, my friend. Thank you. 
This is going to be my new desktop wallpaper. Perhaps your most important mission yet. Now that you're acquainted with the reindeer population, let's talk predators. The lynx is a much bigger threat to the reindeer herds than the bears, so we'll need to check on the local population. Find and track a lynx south of the large permafrost crater. See your hunter mate for more details. We need to determine if the lynx is eating a diet of reindeer. That lynx will bolt in a heartbeat. Careful now. And look at that. This lynx still has a belly full of reindeer. The Nanets will be relieved to know that this animal is no longer dining on their herds. And let's be real, harvesting a lynx is no small feat. To hunt the apex predators, one must be an apex hunter, and you certainly are. Would you do a personal favor for me? I've marked the map on your hunter mate. Go there. When I was a girl, this was my favorite place to pray to my ancestors. I know it's superstitious, but could you... Could you say a prayer there? Pray to anyone you want. Pray to no one. Your choice. Just s something about finding reindeer in that lynx. It unsettles me. The air is getting colder, and... I think we could use a little divine help.
there you are. The Nenets migrate hundreds of kilometers across the Yamal Peninsula. Sites like this have served the community for a millennium. This one is my personal favorite. It is dedicated to my great-great-uncle, a shaman, who was said to have spiritual visions on this spot. Open your mind, Hunter. What visions will you have? I wish I could be there with you. Not in a romantic way. We are close, but not that close. I mean, I wish I could be out of this office, to be in the wild, trekking and climbing. Oh, Izvini. I am being sentimental. Let me give you some peace in this beautiful place. here in the village are saying there is a radioactive mutant on the loose, which sounds about as credible as Georgis Chuchunya. But Katerina says something spooked her neighbors heard last night, and now some Nenets reindeer have gone missing. Maybe another lynx, maybe something else. Can you try to find a missing reindeer? The area reported by Katerina is marked on your hunter mate. Head that way and scout for tracks. near where the Nenets lost track of the reindeer. Investigate. reindeer. Follow that trail. That reindeer is dead. Got it. But not eaten? Lynx do not kill for sport. Maybe there was a lynx, but it was scared off before it could eat? By what? I don't know. See if there are tracks nearby. fleeing this area, just as I suspected. other tracks nearby. Bad 
Starbucks. This isn't a lynx problem. This is a bear problem. But what kind of bear would do this? Why wouldn't it eat the animals it kills? Can you take a picture of those tracks? This bear has an odd walk. Like it's... Like it's... Injured. Ach, short. I may know this bear. There is something you and I should discuss. Do you hear that? It's a reindeer. Wounded. Maybe by this bear. Please, find this reindeer and spare it any pain. Be careful. The bear might be nearby. The reindeer is in great pain. Another victim of this bear, no doubt. You know what you have to do now. and tracks. This has to be the trail. Thank you. I'll let Katerina know we found the missing reindeer. You've cleared every obstacle we've encountered. But take a moment and think. Are you ready to hunt a dangerous bear? Do you have the right guns? The right gear? If not, head to an outpost to prepare yourself. Seriously. If you're equipped and ready, scout for bear tracks nearby. That wounded reindeer could not have run too far from the spot where it was attacked. There it is. Follow this trail. If you're equipped and ready, scout for bear tracks nearby. That wounded reindeer could not have run too far from the spot where it was attacked. As I suspected, these tracks lead away from Mamantova Tundra and toward Pustaya Mountain. In English, you would call it Hollowed Mountain. Pustaya Mountain is a place with bad memories for me. But you don't have time for that sob story now. The temperature has dropped over 10 degrees in the last few hours, and we've got a storm front coming in. You need to get to safety before that happens. Look for a campsite in the area marked on your hunter mate. Get there before the weather turns against you. You can return to this bear hunt when the storm passes.
cabin looks like a good place to wait it out. The storm should blow over in about eight hours. Take that time to rest. Okay, the storm is over, and we're back to the slightly more tolerable version of Sub-Zero weather. Before you get back to your bear hunt, Georgi reported a lynx behaving very strangely nearby, wandering in the daytime, exposing its position, unusual behavior for a strategic, nocturnal predator. Georgi is not the most reliable source for us, but something tells me this is no hoax. Maybe it's another lynx injured by that bear. Maybe it's another anthrax problem. I'll mark the area Georgi reported on the hunter mate. Have a look. This is the area where the lynx was spotted. See any tracks? You've spotted the lynx. Observe it. Take a photo for me. Does it look sick? No sign of injury or rabies. Could be anthrax. Could be something else. The animal is sick. We can't risk an outbreak this close to the Reindeer Herders Festival. Put it down. You need to get back on the bear hunt, so it's time you understand what you're up against. The locals think that a radioactive mutant lives on Pustaya Mountain, but I know what's really up there, and, and it's my fault. Head to the area marked on the hunter mate, and I'll explain. My previous expedition. You know, they were enthusiasts, not professionals. Passionate amateurs, like Gunther Baden. One day I sent some of them to observe a rare, exotic bear. An albino brown bear. As long as they didn't provoke the animal, what harm could come from documenting its presence? But when the party came back to come for dinner, they accidentally led the albino right to us. The animal was beyond hungry. It was starving. I put myself between the bear and the team and I... I shouted and I stood my ground, but... But it kept moving forward. It took one swipe and I was on the ground. I put both buckshot rounds from my shotgun into its chest. Point blank. It howled and ran off. I tried to get up and chase after it, but... <sighs> Might as well rip this bandage off quickly. So, I can't walk, for now. With a year in physical therapy, maybe I will graduate from chair to crutches. I won't be dancing to Kalinka anytime soon, but at least, with your help, I'll see this expedition completed. Clean up the mess that I made. Anyway, that's why I'm not out there with you. I wish I could be, but... Sorry, this is not a pity party. 
I think the Albino is still alive. I should have had slugs loaded in my shotgun, but I never thought this one would sneak up on us. I would be overjoyed to find out I'm just being paranoid, but to prove it beyond a doubt, you're heading for the Albino's den. Be careful, and we'll see what we find. Maybe in this case, my paranoia is justified. You've reached Pustaya Mountain. Before you go getting into trouble, I have an update on the diseased lynx that Anatoly was testing. It wasn't diseased after all. It was poisoned. Based on the chemicals found in the lynx's blood, we are talking pre-war industrial waste. Another ghastly substance unearthed as the permafrost thaws. Thanks to us, the state is assembling a crisis team to clean up the area. But before we go congratulating ourselves for that, you're danger close to the Albino's domain, as the Americans say. Do you see tracks? Droppings? Bears only make that sound when they're in pain. Like the pain you might be in if you had two rounds of buckshot in your chest. The Albino. But this is no way to survive. I can only imagine the pain he must be in. Please, end his suffering.
I knew that the albino was still out there. Ever since that day, I felt this chain linking my pain to the albino's pain. Every night, dreaming of my albino counterpart, roaming the wilderness, starving and driven mad by a chest full of steel. Such pain. No wonder he attacked those animals without eating them. This may sound disingenuous, but I actually felt more pity for the albino than for myself. Now the bear has peace. Maybe I can find peace too. All because of you. One more thing while you're up there. There is a peak nearby at Pustatiele Gara. A picture perfect place to gaze out over the tiger. You have done so much for me. The least I can offer in return is that breathtaking view. And now that the albino is gone, you can safely enjoy the hike there. deep breath. Here you are, at the top of the tiger, the apex hunter. Friend to the nanets, friend to Elena. I would call you my hero, but if your ego gets any bigger, it will cause an eclipse. So, my friend, how many ways can I thank you? In Russia we say, Vidna ptica po In English, a bird is known by its flight. That is to say, our deeds speak for us and word travels uncommonly fast on the tiger. People across this region are beating down my door for your contact info. Everyone wants to hire the radioactive mutant bear hunter. But don't worry. Besides maybe Georgi, I will only give you a number to sane people. There is plenty of work left to be done for our expedition, but you've also earned a break. Please, consider this territory as you would your own home. Hunt, explore, experience. The tiger is rich with secrets. Will you be the first outsider to discover them all? And hey, if you ever make it to base camp to see me, Anatoly, Svetlana, and the rest of the crew, you will find a bowl of Katerina's famous reindeer stew with your name on it. Until then, Vsivoha Roshova. That's Russian for good luck. <laughs>